Question number five of this third exercise asks us to name the quadrilaterals which have both line and rotational symmetry of order more than one. So the quadrilateral which will have both line and rotational symmetry of order more than one is a square. But these are the different lines of symmetry for this particular square. So these are four lines of symmetry. All of these lines will divide the square in equal halves and when the square is folded along any of these lines the equal halves will coincide so for this figure for the square we can say that the numbers number of lines of symmetry is 4 now let us see how the rotational symmetry works for this square so let us again consider the figure and uh, the point where the lines of symmetry intersects is the fixed point about which this figure is going to be rotated. Let us also consider a blue point such that we will get the idea of rotation based on the change in the position of this blue point. Let us see what happens if this square is rotated by 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. Let us see what is the change in the position of this blue point based on this. So a 90 degree rotation of the figure will result in this position of this blue dot. And if this figure is again rotated by 90 degrees in the clockwise direction, let us now see what is the change in the position of this blue dot. So a 180 degree rotation of the original figure will result in this position of the blue dot and all these figures are exactly the same as the initial figure. It's just that the figure is rotating about its center of rotation. Let us now see what happens if this figure is again rotated by 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. So a 270 degrees rotation of the figure will result in this position of the blue dot and if this figure is again rotated by 90 degrees we will again see that this blue dot will go back to the position which it has in the initial figure. So as this figure is rotated four times by 90 degrees we can say that the order of rotational symmetry for this figure is 4. So we saw how in this particular question, if we have taken the quadrilateral to be square, so it had both the line and the rotational symmetry of order more than one. So this is how we are going to answer question number five of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.